What is human doing? He forgot to feed me again. He's always on his phone. I wish he had an organizer app. Hey, wait a minute. What was that sponsor he was looking at earlier? Ah, yes, well, this video is sponsored by PD Apps. But I can turn this into a win win. Let me just add a task here. This is Kanbani, putting the can in we can. What? No, seriously, it's a task manager app which will help you and your team organize ideas, projects and ongoing assignments on a shared board for all of you. The name is derived from the Kanban method, basically a billboard that has three columns, to do, doing and done. Of course, you can expand these to include as many columns as you like, ideas, proposals, uh, things I wish I was doing, things I should be doing, so forth. You've probably seen Kanban software before, but there are a few things that set Kanban apart. First and foremost, it's entirely free. You can get this app from the Play Store or if you want a version without Google Analytics, you can actually go on the Kanban website and download a de-googled version of the app. Links below. Secondly, it can work entirely offline. You can sync it to the cloud manually or you can set it up to fetch new data automatically. This goes hand in hand with extra security features such as encryption or the ability to set up your own server to sync the app to. And thirdly, it's made specifically with smartphone use in mind. The real estate of your smartphone screen is utilized smartly. Your cards are big and bold and take up enough space to show you all of their relevant info. You can navigate around the app with simple swipe gestures. If you wish to manipulate a card, tap and hold it and you get this mini menu. You can move it, archive it, set a due date or select multiple cards by choosing this option. So how does it work? Easy, my dog says. You open it up and you are greeted by this Kanban welcome board, which lays out all of the basics of how to use this app. When you are ready to start your own board, tap up here and choose create new board. You get to name it and pop, you go into a default Kanban billboard with to do, doing and done tabs. You can add a task by simply double tapping on an empty field. Name the task, add a description, a due date, color coding and put in the name of the person related to the note. Done deal! If you wish to expand the board to feature more tabs, go into the board settings. Here you can add as many columns as you wish, give them custom names and rearrange them to your heart's content. This is what your Kanban board could look like. I made an example board here with some stuff I should be doing and you can view it like this or you can go in the special timeline view and look at it in this calendar-like view which shows you very clearly which tasks should be happening right now and which are upcoming. Once you're ready to share your board with others, go into sync. You can sync Kanban with the default cloud option or you can set up your own server if you have the know-how. In any case, it supports encryption for your sensitive data. You can also set up automatic sync by tapping the option here. Once you are done, tap the generate QR code option down below. You can have the other members of your team scan this code in person or you can send them the code as a file. Additionally, you can tap this tab here. You will get a shareable link for your board. If you copy this link and send it to anyone, they can view the board in web mode, which looks like this. In the web version, you can view your boards, export them as an Excel or CSV file, or import such files to convert them into Kanban data. The ability to create multiple boards means that you can have multiple teams in different settings or you can have a board just for yourself so you can track your own tasks more in depth. Since there is absolutely no online registration required, all of the sharing is done person to person, this might be a good choice for the more privacy conscious among you. Lastly, Kanbani is completely open source, which means that the more geeky programmers out there can make their own add-ons or extensions for the app and you can find the GitHub page linked down below as well. Thanks for checking out our video on Kanbani. Thanks to PD Apps for sponsoring this video and I'll see you in the next one.